After the fire was extinguished, the bodies were found inside the small wooden one-bedroom structure, which was completely destroyed. Fire officers say they could not officially confirm the, identi the identities of the bodies because they were badly burnt. Now, CNC3 News understands that the house did not have electricity. Ramada's mother, who lives close by, has been hospitalized since last week. Someone who knew the family claimed Bajan was unemployed. We were also told that her daughter, a student of Shagornis North Secondary, had not been attending school due to financial constraints. Fire officials tell us that the cause of the blaze is yet to be determined. TSTT CEO Lisa Agard has apologized to customers whose data was stolen by cyber criminals in last month's breach of its databases. At a virtual media briefing with the company's bondholders and analysts, Agard admitted that TSTT could have done better in communicating the cyber breach to its stakeholders. Agard said in its haste to address the cyber problem, there were some things the company could have done better. She added, they were so busily focused on identifying the problem, containing it and restoring full capability to serve customers that it neglected, perhaps, to communicate effectively with them. She said this was not done with malice but from a place of ensuring that the most accurate information was communicated. The TSTT executive said the company focused its efforts on addressing the issues of connectivity and the inability to pay bills online. Agard said as soon as the data breach was publicized on October 28th, the company launched an investigation to verify the claims and corroborate the information that was in the public domain. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley wants Trinidad and Tobago to become a cashless society as his government forges ahead with digital transformation plans. It's a process he wants to see sped up, admitting his own apprehension to using automated telemachines or ATMs. But it's not the only digital plan he's hoping to roll out. Dr. Rowley says he wants to digitize all government ministries and for police officers to be able to read license plates digitally as well. Kim Marie Fletcher reports. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley has a dream for this country. I look forward to the day when Trinidad and Tobago will move towards being a cashless society. And that will have a tremendous effect on our productivity, increase our security, reduce criminal conduct, and put us alongside the best in the world. And even as he sees this for the country, Dr. Rowley, who recently had his data dumped on the dark web, admits to having his own reservations. And I could tell you that I've never used a withdrawal from an ATM. Not because I don't know that it's there, but maybe it's because I've come from too far to trust it. There have been several incidents this year in which people, including police and pensioners, were robbed outside ATMs. But even as he has his concerns, Dr. Rowley remains focused on transforming the country to become a technologically advanced one. To do so, the Prime Minister says government is seeking international assistance to accelerate the digitalization process by turning to Estonia. In Europe, Estonia is one of the countries that has done so much in getting where we want to be using the modern technology. So we interacted with Estonia, we got the agreement to help us, and today our, our Ministry of Digital Transformation is in the corridors of and working with the people of Estonia, helping the government and people of Trinidad and Tobago to digitize our country. But Dr. Rowley knows achieving this dream will be no easy feat. What is required as we transform is to shut down some operations and replace them by other, better, more valuable operations. But that will bring voices who only talk about what you're going to have to shut down, never talking about what is going to replace it. He's currently eyeing the Ministry of Works and Transport as he revealed his plans to introduce a system where license plates will be read digitally by law enforcement officers to keep track of criminal elements. Dr. Rowley was speaking at the Karanash Police Youth Club and Homework Centre earlier today. Kimari Fletcher, CNC3 News. We're still to come in the news. The Salka denies the Wali shutdown, saying it'll be doing the opposite and actually ramping up production. It is their job to provide security, but police officers want protection too from sexual harassment. Coming up in sport, head coach Angus Eve is under no illusions as the Soka Warriors face the mighty USA next week.
We trust the experts at Bagwan Sings and Dan Steel for everyday value, exceptional quality, and the best brands. To us, there is only one choice for an array of tiles, contemporary bathroom and vanities, ace paints, classy kitchen sinks and faucets, ceiling fans and lighting fixtures to enhance your decor, coolers and grills for outdoor living, power tools to get the job done right, doors and locks to safeguard your investment. Bagwan Sings and Dan Steel, building value every day. Bumper to bumper traffic I am here and I will definitely be late because I still have to pass by the ATM to get cash for you. So say no no no. Don't put you on that. You can pay with N Cash. So just come straight, yeah. Ncash is a mobile wallet that gives users the convenience of making digital payments. You can use Ncash with any local debit card or credit card to pay anyone and or any business on Ncash no matter who they bank with. It's as easy as scan, pay, done. Download the app and create your wallet today. Welcome back. The Water and Sewerage Authority is dispelling reports that the Salcot has a planned shutdown for this Diwali weekend. In a release today, the desalination company said it will actually be doing the opposite. The Salcot said it was instructed by Public Utilities Minister Marvin Gonzalez to increase its production from 40 million gallons to 42 million gallons per day to meet the anticipated additional demand of water during the Diwali weekend. The Salcot was responding to claims by the opposition leader Kamla Pasad Bisesa last evening addressing the attendees at the Diwali Nagar. She said the Salkut was carded to undergo maintenance this weekend and described it as an insult. I find it very insensitive for the Salkut in the middle of the Diwali celebrations to go down on a lockdown and maintenance. You have 365 days, 52 weeks of the year, and you choose Diwali week to lock down and shut off the water. Well, Pisad Bisesa did not say where she got that information from and is yet to retract her statement. While some patrons were excited to meet and greet opposition leader Kamla Pisad Bisesa at the Diwali Nagar last evening, several others were not. A group of UNC supporters assembled outside the Nagar last night to express their disgust with her lack of leadership. Armed with placards, the group is claiming that Pisad Bisesa is allowing the Prime Minister to get away with ruining the development of the country. They called for her to retire from the helm of the United National Congress. High Court Judge Marissa Robertson has promised to deliver her decision in an election petition for the District of Lengua Indian Walk before January 8th. Justice Robertson gave the assurance after hearing submissions from both the UNC and PNM lawyers and the Elections and Boundaries Commission earlier today. In the petition, the UNC is claiming that the EBC should not have rejected a special ballot for UNC candidate Nicole Gopal that would have broken the deadlock after it emerged for the recount of the district. Now, the EBC has claimed that it had no choice but to reject the ballot as it was not signed by the retaining officer. It contended that its officials did not have to the lawful discretion to accept the ballot based on the deficiency. The UNC also filed a petition for the Arima Northeast District, but it was dismissed at a preliminary stage by High Court Judge Frank Sipasad as it was not served on the PNM candidate. Now to this, police have launched an investigation into a school fight at St. Anthony's College that left at least one student injured. CNC3 News understands that the Criminal Investigations Department, Community Oriented Policing Section and the Child Protection Unit are all looking into the altercation that took place on the school's compound yesterday. We were told the student needed medical attention for a swollen face, a broken nose, damaged ribs and bruises about his chest and back. Both the Education Ministry and the Catholic Board are awaiting the principal's report to determine what's next for the seven students involved. They were apprehended by police but later released. CNC3 News spoke to two parents who said the incident is not isolated and students are regularly fighting, selling contraband or stealing from their peers. Asked if the police investigate these matters, one senior officer of the Four Roads Police Station said they do, but they don't get the necessary support from principal, staff and and parents. Well, still no word on the whereabouts of convicted human trafficker Anthony Smith, but the National Security Minister still believes that the law works. The minister also could not comment on the revelation that a police officer was a client of the then 16-year-old victim. Akash Samru has his story. 
that Anthony Smith is a fugitive. Since then, the Minister of National Security had not been responding to our questions. But we got him today. That matter is in the hands of the police. The court issued a warrant, as you all know well, meaning the system is still at work and the police are busy trying to make contact. We also asked what did he make of information from the judiciary that the 16-year-old traffic child's last client was a police officer. Particularly as last Friday, the minister said there had been no report that police visited Smith's establishment where he kept the teenager. But Minister Hines said he never read the court transcripts. And therefore, exciting as it would be for you, it would be imprudent of me to comment upon this, what has now become a very sensitive matter. The minister is standing his ground that the big issue remains the fact that this country was, for one, able to finally get a human trafficking conviction on the books. And I was more than pleased that the process of the law worked. As and the United States, which assesses our human trafficking index and has expressed concern over the lack of convictions, will notice this country's recent efforts. So that, for me, is the real big news. But while he again reiterated that the elements of the state worked seamlessly together to get this conviction, Anthony Smith is still not behind bars. He must be disappointed he escaped. God bless you, gentlemen. Have a great day, a great life, and let's continue to work hard to lift Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you. Akash Samaru, CNC3 News. I thank you very much, Akash. Now, the Caribbean Federation of Police Welfare Associations is making a clarion call tonight for the implementation of a sexual harassment policy for police services across the region. This is one of the driving points of the CFPWA's 10th intersessional meeting held at the Police Academy in St. James City. According to the association's president and sergeant of the Royal Virgin Islands Police Force, Sean McCall, officers also need to be protected from the sexual harassment of their peers. Very few forces in the region have a sexual harassment policy. We want to see that address because it's, it, it's very important that officers go to work in an environment that they feel safe and comfortable to perform. And though the head of the Police Service Social and Welfare Association was not present at the meeting, he says the organization was represented by its second vice president and public relations officer. While he welcomes the president's call, he denies that sexual harassment is a prevalent issue in the TTPS. As an organization, we seldom have to treat with issues of that nature. We have the situation where we have our gender based unit, and they will be the first port of call to treat with any issues of that nature if it borders on any form of even our conduct or criminal conduct by the officers. Well, ESP Gideon Dixon adds that out of this conference, the PSWA is working on digitizing its platform and potentially hosting internal elections online. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley has said that despite this country's crime rate, he believes TNT remains a model country because of our many cultures. So today we asked you whether you agree with the Prime Minister's comment. We were a modern nation in the 60s that now is a, it's different, totally different. Because you're not even safe. You're not even safe wherever you go. You always, you can, like me, I always have them have to be looking left and right, you know? In the 60s, it wasn't, it wasn't like this. It's 50 50 because it's our all race and source of people. Everybody have a different mental, but nobody pushing the right mental. So that why I can say it's a 50 50. I agree with the Prime Minister. Say. Why are you agree? Because it's real, we, we live together, we have different denominations, who, you know, religious denominations. And with all that, we, we, we still, people as one, is one people, Canadian people is one people. I would say they're tolerant. Why? Tolerant. Why? Because what you're seeing, what you're seeing, you know, because everybody have their different arm. Okay, like as with Diwali, you notice that other people would go and buy the roti and whatever it is and and they dress with the wear, and same thing when they have the um, emancipation. Yes, I agree with him. I think we basically get along. I mean, we have differences, but there are times when we come together as one, and I, I would agree with him and his statement. You know, because of the segregation of the country. Because of the segregation of the country. The country is segregated. <laughs> 
improved operational efficiency and reductions in grain prices assisted national flour mills in earning a revenue of $431 million, which is a 16% increase for the nine-month period. Meanwhile, German carrier Condor Airlines resumed flights on, into Tobago on Tuesday. Andrea Perez Sobers tells us more in tonight's Business Watch. Business Watch, brought to you by End Cash. Scan, pay, done. As a result of grain prices remaining favorable internationally, the National Flour Mills Limited earned a revenue of $431 million in the first three quarters of 2023. This represents a 16% increase over the comparative period in 2022. In its own audited results for the period ended September 30th, NFM said gross profit also increased from $59 million in 2022 to $110 million in 2023 yielding a gross profit margin of 25%, more in line with international benchmarks for businesses involved in the manufacturing and marketing of flour and feed products. However, NFM said the escalation and spread of the Israel-Hamas war poses a major risk to the global economy in the form of higher energy prices and trade disruption, which could result in increased prices for soybean, meal and corn. Kongdor Airlines resumes winter season service to Tobago. In a statement on Thursday, the Tobago House of Assembly Division of Tourism said the airline arrived at the ANR Robinson International Airport with 167 passengers 71 of whom disembarked in Tobago. This marks the airline's inaugural winter season flight. Condor Airlines is scheduled to operate a weekly flight every Tuesday between Germany and Tobago until April 9, 2024. The ProMan Foundation has contributed over $3.8 million since October 2022 to various organizations aligned with the foundation's core corporate social responsibility pillars. On Wednesday evening, ProMan brought together its flagship partners and beneficiary organizations to celebrate the achievement of the foundation and its projects across Trinidad and Tobago. In a release on Thursday, ProMan stated the investment made by the foundation has enabled the delivery of high-impact sustainable programs to over 7,200 beneficiaries in more than 60 communities nationally, supported by the contribution of over 600 volunteer hours from ProMan employees. And now for a look at today's energy and forex prices. Andrea Perez Sobers, CNC3 Business Watch. Business Watch, brought to you by End Cash. Scan, pay, done. But still to come in the news tonight, the mother of a murdered student urges young adults to stay away from crime. Trinidad and Tobago saw passing showers as we progressed through today as a low-level trough moved across the Windward Islands. We have an area of confluence to our north. This is an area where winds are slowing down, piling up, causing convergence. A flash flood watch is in effect for Barbados, no alerts in effect for Trinidad and Tobago, but rainfall is expected to increase as we progress through this weekend with potentially heavy rainfall. I'll have the details on how much rain exactly we're expecting just after the break. Jameson Omega-3 with turmeric. Stay hot strong. Pick up yours today. Christmas is on us. A season of giveaways covering your holidays. Home makeover spin with ease. Cash tech and groceries. This Christmas will treat a new Sign up for an everything plan or pay your bill in full for chances to win over $1 million in cash and prizes. Visit us in store or online at discoverflow.co for more details. Perfection doesn't happen by chance. Like an artist, the cook selects the main ingredient. One that is worthy of a proud cultural tradition. 
trusted to enhance your creations with its richness and versatility. To create a cooking masterpiece, the secret is simple. The brand we know, the brand we trust, the brand our ancestors have been using for generations. Cow Brand B. Look for the can with the cow. So, I always try to make sure I have a, a one or two extra bottle of Omega XL from Heart probiotics, um, the turmeric, I can say I use this product and it works for me. There goes my new car. Guess I'm back on my bike. Yo, bike? CG United offers new car replacement. Remember my monster truck days? Well, one night, I attempted a 50-foot pogo double backflip. I landed it and went to karaoke. It wasn't until afterward that my car got hit by that fisherman. <laughs> he gave me some great mahi-mahi, though. Anyway, they paid fast and got me in a new car. Now call it, cab. I want you to meet my alpaca guy. <laughs> new car replacement for the first year of ownership. CG United. Good like that. Shub Diwali from Southern Food Basket. Split peas, two pounds for $7.95. Potatoes, buy 10 pounds, get five pounds free. Extra large shana, two pounds for $17.95. Sultanas, 400 gram for $7.95. Deers, two dozens for $13.95. Eastern brand coconut oil, 700 ml, two for $34.95. Golden brand margarine, three for $16.95. Country pride all purpose flour, two kg, two for $28.95. Eve condensed milk, $3.95. 90 gram, 3 for 22.95. Nabisco cream of wheat, 340 gram for 33.95. Rich Port oil, 3 liter for 47.95. Easy wrap foil, 25 feet, 2 for 90.95. Shop the best for less Diwali specials at Southern Food Basket, Coffee Street, San Fernando, SS Erin Road, Pinal, St. Charles Village, Princess Town, and Southern Main Road, Point Fortin. Christmas will be. To some news just in, Minister of Public Administration Alison West is tonight providing evidence that DPP Roger Gaspard had in fact agreed to move into the new office on Park Street in Port of Spain. Minister West issued a media release a short while ago in response to the senior counsel Ramesh Lawrence Mirage. Mirage had stated that the DPP was not involved in the rental process and therefore cannot be blamed for the $55 million spent on rent. However, Minister West provided a letter signed by DPP Roger Gaspard in 2014 in which he indicated that he was interested in moving his office to the Park Street location. But after a special branch security assessment in 2020, the DPP opted not to occupy the building and it remained unused. Responding to questions from CNC3 News today, DPP Gaspard noted he did not sp seek Mirage's advice on the matter and does not consider the position Mirage took as his defense. Now to some other news. Over 800 young adults graduated today from the Civilian Cons Conservation Corps and are now certified in several vocational fields. But during the ceremony, a mother of an 18-year-old who should have been at Napa today made a fervent plea for those in the auditorium to reject a life of crime. Aka Samaru tells us why. For the 825 young people, today represented the crescendo of 10 months of hard work and dedication, culminating in their certificate for vocational skill that offers them a career path in life. But amidst the joy came a reminder that one of their classmates would not experience this. My son lost his life due to gun violence. He was brutally murdered, delivering food. 
Kaylon Jacobs' mother, Carrie Ann, told the graduates that while her son was not involved with the monster that is gang violence, its claws are far reaching. You have the power to say no longer will I, I, will I accept violence. You can turn your pain into action. What you decide today can save a life tomorrow. The following speaker had a similar message, but from personal experience. During the first week of the induction phase, a random search took place where I was found with marijuana in my book bag. After being charged for trafficking and being kept overnight in a holding cell, Thomas said he prayed to God for a second chance, and his new lease on life led to this moment. And from this day forward, I will be a success. Who are we? Akash Samaru, CNC3. Now time for the weather forecast. Clean a lot of rain today, but we were spared floods, thankfully. Yeah, no reports of flooding today, but we are expecting to see an increase in rainfall as we head into the weekend, with most of the rain unfortunately expected on Diwali Day. So let's go take a look at why that is. Because what happened today, we had the passage of a surface to low level trough. This is an area of lower than usual pressure in the atmosphere that brings some unsettled weather. It's now in the Caribbean Sea. We have this area of confluence, which is area uh, wind slowing down and piling up like traffic in a traffic jam and causing some convergence leading to showers and thunderstorms mainly north of our country. We have uh, flash flood watches in effect for Barbados and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. No alerts in effect for Trinidad but as that low level trough moves away we have lots of convergence behind it that will be moving across Trinidad and Tobago supporting showers and isolated thunderstorms and even periods of rain. Rain uh, areas where we see broad areas of rainfall that can be a little bit more persistent than showers and thunderstorms storm activity. Now for tonight we're starting off partly cloudy with some isolated showers initially favoring Tobago and eastern parts of Trinidad that will quickly move westward. There's a low chance of thunderstorm activity as well. A minimum lows between 24 and 26 degrees. For tomorrow we're starting off with some intermittent clouds with some showers coming in by uh, the late morning through the afternoon leading to a mostly cloudy evening. Maximum highs tomorrow forecast to remain on the cooler side around 31 to 32 degrees across Trinidad and Tobago. Now, how much rain are we expecting this weekend? Well, forecast models show up to 125 millimeters of rainfall falling across northern and eastern parts of Trinidad and across Tobago, with the remainder of the country seeing less than that. Now, this amount of rain over a five-day period is what you're seeing here, is enough to cause some street and flash flooding in those heavier downpours and send river levels to near threshold levels. Now, at this time, no alerts are in effect, but we were watching river basins, mainly across northern and eastern Trinidad, quite closely, especially on Diwali Day. We're expecting to see some cloudy conditions with persistent rain, isolated heavy showers, and thunderstorms. Now, for marine areas, seas are also agitated with spring tides, long period swells, and increased winds, all affecting our marine areas with waves in open waters near two meters, getting up to 2.5 meters, especially north of Trinidad and Tobago, and in sheltered areas up to 1.5 meters. So not a great weekend to head to the beach with the weather and the seas not being quite cooperative and taking a look at the extended weather forecast. Well, showers and thunderstorms and periods of rain for Saturday, Sunday, even into Monday, but things get a bit drier as we start off the new work week next week. Good news from all of this rainfall, there will be a replenishment of water in our reservoirs as well as some cooler temperatures. Yeah, especially as we head um, into a dry period next year for dry season. Yeah, yeah, that's right. All right, thank you so much, Colleen. We're still to come in the news. Diwali brings people together. Tonight we look at how food is building communities. Go from ah. to ah. from. Relieve joint pain with Jameson's Glucosamine Chondroitin. Are you an employer who needs a certificate of compliance from the NIBTT? Starting Friday 1st, December 2023, an employer who qualifies for a certificate of compliance will receive a certificate valid for three months from the date it is issued. To make your request, email a complete NI200 form to compliancecertificate at nibtt.net. You asked us for it and we listened. NIBTT, making it easier for you to do business. We are more than just a pension provider.
Legends Legacy Concert. Yes, pulsating rhythms and soulful calypsos as our talented offsprings of our calypso legends take you on a musical journey through the years performing some of their classics. Come feel the energy as we reignite the calypso magic. Experience magic of live performances from Colonel Roberts, Second Star, Charlotte D. Wizard Bailey, Kevon Police, and Isaac Blackburn. Sunday, November 12th, 5 p.m. at the Hyatt Regency, Trinidad. Don't miss your chance to be a part of this musical extravaganza. Get your tickets now and let the magic begin. Tickets general $250, VIP $300. Get your tickets on islandetickets.com, Crosby St. James, Michelle Zarima, and all two co offices. The Legends Legacy Concert, sponsored by the Sport and Culture Fund, Office of the Prime Minister, the Tobago House of Assembly, and Angostura. Showdown has returned. The CG United Super 50 Cup is back in Trinidad. From October 17th to November 11th at the Brian Lara Cricket Academy, Wingsback Oval and Hubie Spec. Come out and support your team. Visit windyscricket.com for more info. The Excel brand delivers quality service. I would recommend Omega Excel to everyone. Take care of yourself, take care of your health with Omega Excel. If Omega Excel works for me, it will work for you. Over a period of time, I started feeling stronger in my knee where I could put add more pressure. It's a Christmas in November sale at Food Basket, Arima, Chamfle, and Chaguanas. Freeness frenzy with free products everywhere you turn. Non alcoholic wine, 1995. Buy five, get one free. Butter cookies, 1995. Buy five, get one free. Caribbean 9 kg rice, buy one, 79.95. Get one, 2 kg free. Port Royal, one gallon oil, buy one, 69.95. Get one, 1 liter free. Ramen soup, five pack, 14.95. Buy three, get one, five pack free. Barbecue sauce, buy three, get one free. Free. Shop now at Food Basket, Arima, Chamfle and Chaguanas while stocks last. Two former employees of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs convicted for trafficking cocaine are sentenced to almost eight years in prison. 51-year-old Michael Smith of Mova and 47-year-old Kurt Alexis of San Fernando were convicted by a nine-member jury on October 19th but were sentenced today. In deciding the appropriate sentence for the duo, Justice Gail Gonzalez noted that under the Dangerous Drugs Act, the maximum penalty for the offences is 25 years in prison and a fine of $100,000 or three times the value of the illegal drugs, whichever is greater. She began with a starting sentence of 10 years in prison for the joint charge before applying a two-year discount based on the fact that the men had clean criminal records. All right, it's now time for sport. Jassy Marie, what do you have for us? Well, some mischief at the World Cup. Government misbehavior sees Sri Lanka served with an ICC suspension. And we'll give you the rundown on where to get your fill of sporting entertainment this Diwali weekend. Stay with us, sport is next. Tuco says, get ready for the Legends Legacy Concert. Yes, pulsating rhythms and soulful calypsos as our talented offsprings of our calypso legends take you on a musical journey through the years performing some of their classics. Come feel the energy as we reignite the Calypso magic. Experience magic of live performances from Colonel Roberts, Second Star, Charlotte D. Wizard Bailey, Kevon Police, and Isaac Blackburn. Sunday, November 12th, 5 p.m. at the Hyatt Regency, Trinidad. Don't miss your chance to be a part of this musical extravaganza. Get your tickets now and let the magic begin. Tickets general $250, VIP $300. Get your tickets on islandetickets.com, Crosby St. James, Michelle Zarima, and all two co offices. The Legends Legacy Concert, sponsored by the Sport and Culture Fund, Office of the Prime Minister, the Tobago House of Assembly, and Angostura. Visit Tire Clinic Marketing, New Truck and OTR Tire Service Center at number 30 and 32 Montrose Main Road, Chagones. Call today at 665-8973 or 672-3419. Alignment services available. Tire Clinic Marketing, Truck and OTR Service Center. A tire for every need. 
the biggest Christmas sale is at CV Optical. Get an amazing 60% off designer frames. Also, get 40% off prescription lenses. Plus, you get a free pair of Polaroid sunglasses on selected purchases. See us today at CV Optical, affordable eye care for everyone. It's Bright Ideas Festival of Discount Sale. Illuminate your home with up to 75% off selected items. Enjoy unbeatable deals. 10 to 30% off ornaments. 30% off selected linens and curtains. 25 to 50% off selected flowers. 25% off lamps, clocks, and mirrors. 25% off as seen on TV items. 50% off paintings. 30% off selected bakeware, dinner sets, and kitchenware. 25 to 50% off religious ornaments. 75% off lights and chandeliers. But hurry, the Festival of Discount Sale is here for a limited time only. Bright Ideas, located at Point Fortin, Princess Town, Rio Claro, Maribel, or Gulf City Mall, and coming soon to Curep. Bright Ideas, bringing happiness home. The Ultimate Cricket Showdown has returned. The CG United Super 50 Cup is back in Trinidad. From October 17th to November 11th at the Brian Lara Cricket Academy, Wingsback Oval and Hubie Spec. Come out and support your team. Visit windyscricket.com for more info. Is probiotics itself connected to immune health? Absolutely. 70% of your immune system resides in your gastrointestinal tract. Everyone should take a probiotic. So, Doc, tell me something. What are some of the benefits of probiotics XL. It helps with regularity. It helps prevent gas, bloating, belching, all the annoying symptoms that people get in their tummies. It's It just makes people feel better. Probiotic XL. Get yours today. It's a Christmas in November sale at Food Baskets Arima, Champlay and Chaguanas. Freeness frenzy with free products everywhere you turn. Non-alcoholic wine, $19.95. Buy five, get one free. Butter cookies, $19.95. Buy five, get one free. Caribbean 9 kg rice, buy one, $79.95. Get one, two kg free. Port Royal, one gallon oil, buy one, $69.95. Get one, one liter free. Ramen soup, five pack, $14.95. Buy three, get one, five pack free. Barbecue sauce, buy three, get one free. Free. Shop now at Food Baskets, Arima, Chamfle and Chaguanas while stocks last. Welcome back. It's time for sport now. The Leeward Islands Hurricanes and the Trinidad and Tobago Red Force will clash for the 2023 CG United Super 50 title on Saturday. That's after the Leewards beat Barbados Pride by 155 runs in the second semi-final last night. At the Brian Lara Cricket Academy, the Hurricanes made 290 all-out and 49.4 overs, with Jamal Hamilton getting to 76, Justin Greaves to 63, and Hayden Walls Jr. to 57. But when the pride batted, they struggled. Eventually bowled out for 135. Rust and Chase made a top score for them of 35, while Daniel Dorham took three for 33 for the Leewards, and Alzari Joseph claimed three for 30. So now with the final two teams set, let's get into the storylines. The Red Force playing at home in this competition is unbeaten and would do well to avoid a blemish in the final, going after a record 13th title. There's also the matter of giving Sunil Narayan a fitting send-off after he announced his international retirement earlier in the week. Of course, that's when the competition ends. On the other hand, the Leewards fancy what would be an upset while looking to add to their seven titles. More importantly, they also want to end an 11-year drought. Uh, we all know he is a world-renowned international superstar. Uh, as a team, we are very happy for him. Uh, as a friend, I'm extremely happy for him as well. So just want to wish him all the best and hopefully we can gain something very special yes, tomorrow. The stage is set for the grand finale of the CG United Super 50. And Trinidad and Tobago Red Force captain Darren Bravo wants to give Sunil Narayan a winning send-off. But in order to do that, they have to overcome a lethal new ball duo of Alzari Joseph and Oshin Thomas on a helpful Brian Lara Academy pitch. We are aware that the, the sort of um, threat that they possess, but having said that, uh, I think the quality of our team is extremely good. Um, it's just a matter of us going back, especially when we're going to our team meeting and basically come up with a very good plan for those two guys. They have been, they have been starting well throughout the tournament, so it's something that we definitely need to look at. But um, we are quietly confident that we will be able to basically overcome their challenges. The Red Force won the last of 12 Super 50 titles back in 2021. While the Leeward Islands are seeking their first title since 2010, when they shared it with Barbados. 
I'm very confident. Um, we've been playing good cricket throughout the tournament, so um, I don't see no reason why we shouldn't take it home with us tomorrow. We saw everything they had to throw at us, so um, we know exactly what we need to do. I won't necessarily say exactly what we need to do, but we all know what we need to do, so um, tomorrow is going to be a different, a different ball game. First ball tomorrow is 1pm and entry to the final is free. Ian Wason, CNC3 Sport. Well, the Red Force team is not alone in wanting to win the Super 50 Cup for Sunil Narine. President of the Trinidad and Tobago Cricket Board, as Basarath, spoke to Guardian Media today to express his sadness at Narine's retirement. According to Basarath, Narine, who announced his retirement on Sunday, will be dearly missed but fondly remembered. On behalf of the Trinidad and Tobago Cricket Board, I want to wish Sunil a very happy retirement. And, you know, I look forward to working with him to bring out more youngsters to gain entry into the international scene. Because at one time, Sunil, of course, was the best spinner in the world. He's still very well respected um, he's around the world, playing for the different franchises um, in T20 and T10 tournament. Basarat says... There is no immediate role for Narine, but thinks that the 35-year-old will be useful within the recently set up Trinidad and Tobago Cricket Board Cricket Academy. And I know for a fact that as, as so long as he's available and he is in Trinidad, he will come and, you know, depart and impart his knowledge and experience to these young players. And it is this very set program, this Cricket Academy program, is the set program that has developed all the superstars that we have created in Trinidad and Tobago. All the best to Narayan in his future and to the Red Force team in tomorrow's final. Some football news now. The Soka Warriors leave Trinidad and Tobago on Sunday to face their sternest test of the CONCACAF Nations League against the USA in Texas. Before that, head coach Angus Eve took a moment to contextualize this moment in Trinidad and Tobago football with Jovan Ravello. We've all seen it, but Angus Eve was at pains to point out that the Soka Warriors have had to fight for everything gained in the recent months. While he was encouraged by the wave of support around the team right now, he does acknowledge that they have exceeded expectations. A lot of people will say no, a lot of people were writing us off from the first game, then the second game and the third game and the fourth game. So, you know, um, us, we as a group do believe in ourselves. Um, if you listen to our utterances, uh, it's just like a team that come up into the um, Premier League for the first time. The first port of storm is to stay in that league. Ahead of their two-legged tie with the Warriors on November 16th and 20th, the USA has picked a squad that excludes some senior players through injury. However, Eve says this doesn't change the complexion of the tie. They picked 23 players, only one of them playing in the MLS. Um, I'd like to tell you the type of depth um, that they have right now, and they have a lot of players who play in top European clubs, if you look throughout the, the squad that they pick. Um, so, no, I don't think that would hurt them in any way. Even with a defeat in this fixture, TNT will have one more chance to qualify for the 2024 Copa America. He reflected on the position in which they find themselves. Um, we've been on a good run, um, uh, so we want to continue that run. It's going to take a lot of work, it's going to take a lot of hard work, and it's going to take um, tactical awareness and tactical fitness um, to get through the game because most of our players are not match fit as, as their players are. So we have to be very smart um, in the way that we, we play the game and um, you know give ourselves a fighting chance. The final squad for the USA Games will be announced on Saturday. Eve says his team will comprise players who are still in season and those with more recent opportunities at match fitness. They depart on Sunday. Jovan Ravello, CNC3 Sport. Well, defending Coca-Cola Intercol champions Fatima College got past a stubborn Trinity outfit today, Trinity Mocha, that is, in the North Zone quarterfinals. Fatima found it difficult to break the deadlock after 45 minutes at St. Mary's Ground. However, they finally got the opener in the 75th minute through Christian Bailey. Jaden Williams made it 2-0 in the 86th minute, but substitute Caden Trestrail netted an injury time brace with goals in the 93rd and 97th. While Luke Correa, he sealed the 5-0 win for Fatima and booked them a semi-final spot, keeping the possibility of a double alive. Elsewhere, Queens Royal College defeated Malik 2-1. St. Anthony's College got a 7-2 win over Blanchichet secondary. And East Mukarapo defeated CIC 4-2 on penalties after they played to a goalless draw in regulation time. Joshua James could not move beyond the quarterfinal round at the Sambo World Championships today, beaten in his men's 79-kilogram fight by the host country's Sarges Fadanian. Joshua 
and that was in subgroup B2. Joshua took an early advantage over the Armenian, fighting in red with some clinical moves. However, once Vardanian gained the upper hand over James in that encounter at the K. Demirchand Sports Complex, it would be difficult for the TNT fighter to overturn. He was outpointed by the judges suffering a 6-5 defeat. Sri Lanka has been suspended from all forms of cricket by the ICC due to government interference. This news tops our international roundup. The Sri Lanka Cricket Board was suspended by the ICC today due to extensive government interference in the board's administration. Sri Lanka's sports minister sacked the entire cricket board on Monday and installed an interim committee led by World Cup winner Arjuna Ranatunga, which included two sons of the country's politicians. The suspension will not have immediate direct impact since Sri Lanka's World Cup campaign ended on Thursday. However, the country will not be able to host any cricket events or games until December. There is also so far no word on how the suspension affects Sri Lanka's hosting of the Under-19 World Cup in January. At the World Cup, South Africa held on to second spot on the standings after beating Afghanistan today. The Afghans reached a total of 244 all-out in 50 overs. Asmatullah Omar Zai's knock of 97 not out was their best score. In reply, Rassi van der Dusen scored 76 to lead the Proteas to 247 for 5 in 47.3 overs. The 2023 FIFA Men's Under-17 World Cup kicked off today in Indonesia, where the hosts drew one all with Ecuador. In by Lopez, good-looking cross. Spain. Spain actually defeated Canada in that final matchup. Now, it is Diwali weekend. It's a long weekend here in Trinidad, but there is certainly a lot to do on the sporting front. Here's Kasten Cupid. The weekend's hottest ticket is the Super 50 final as Trinidad and Tobago Red Force will be aiming to regain the title when they take on the Leeward Island Hurricanes at the Brand Lara Cricket Academy on Saturday from 1 p.m. Now, don't forget, it's a send-off for Sunil Lorraine, so you won't want to miss the potential party. The TDPS kicks off the semi-final and final of its inter-division football competition at the St. James Barracks on Saturday. So you know what to do. Take your crew and go out and support. The Coca-Cola girls into call will get going on Saturday with zonal quarterfinals in the East, Central, North, South and Tobago zones. Matches will kick off at 3 p.m. at various grounds with the only doubleheader taking place in Tobago at the Sid Gray Sporting Complex. Kickoff time is 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. respectively. The Asat Invitational Swimming Short Course Competition continues at the National Aquatic Center on both Saturday and Sunday as some of the nation's best swimmers represent their various clubs. They'll be going for top honors in the various events. Well, I'm Kasten Cupid and that's all I need to know where to go, what to do over the weekend in your CNC3 Sports Wrap. All right, one more time, let's check in at the ICC World Cup for our week-ending Sport High. Sport High, brought to you by Supplegen. Boost you up. Afghanistan's Rashid Khan handed out a lesson in spin against the Proteas in India today. At first, confounded, then utterly bamboozled. Futile, but a nice parting memory takes tonight's CNC3 Sport High. Sport High, brought to you by Supplegen. Boost you up. Might be a good weekend for indoor sports, Jassy, given yeah, all the that rain way. that's forecast. I hope it doesn't fall over the Taruba uh, venue for the Brian Lara Cricket Academy, that final, Super 50 final, Trinidad and Tobago Red Force and the Lee Woods. I would like to be there. So, fingers okay. crossed, okay. no rain in that region. I wouldn't wash the car. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you so much, Jassy. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. Imagine a much-needed rest, sun, and sand. Let Supplegen make it happen. Win an all-inclusive trip for two to beautiful Montego Bay, Jamaica. Spend $25 or more in Supplegen products. Write your name and contact at the back of your bill and place it in the entry form box. Enter online via WooBox.com. Other prizes include over $6,000 in grocery vouchers. Promotion runs up to a 1st to November 30th and is and LCD approved. Supplegen, boost you up. When I walk in sometimes and I step up, I nearly fall on and thing, you know. Radica's cataract affected her ability to do her job and to take care of her loved ones before she got surgery at CVRS and Trinidad Eye Hospital. The staff on was real good. Even the girl when she was carrying me to the room, she hugged me up, carried me go. From the time I reached in and sat and I tell me to call my shit, I could see all the writing on the board. 
Call us at 235-4834 today. The Ultimate Cricket Showdown has returned. The CG United Super 50 Cup is back in Trinidad. From October 17th to November 11th at the Brian Lara Cricket Academy. Wingsback Oval and Hubie Speck. Come out and support your team. Visit windyscricket.com for more info. Cancer, whether you have it or your doctors are looking for it, only a PET scan can give the critical details. First world countries now use PET scans instead of CT scans. Get the right scan. Get a PET scan. Call us for a free consultation. Hey, hello guys. Welcome. Come have a seat. Oh, this is so stylish. I love the fabric. Darlings, you must tell us where you got your new furnishings. We got them locally at Standard. They've got new chic European furniture, crafted from high quality material. Oh, Standard? No, it's standard. Their brand new Hive Collection. Experience luxurious European furniture at a price you will love. The Hive Collection. Now exclusively available at Standard. The biggest Christmas sale is at Seaview Optical. Get an amazing 60% off designer frames. Also, get 40% off prescription lenses. Plus, you get a free pair of Polaroid sunglasses on selected purchases. See us today at Seaview Optical, affordable eye care for everyone. I used to wake up feeling tired. I used to suffer a lot with my, my knees. I had trigger thumb. My knees were paining. At three weeks I realized my finger got better, I said, but this is a very good tablet. And when I said results, I could walk up a step without pain. And sometimes I even realized that the pain disappeared. Now I wake up feeling a bit more energized, ready to go, ready for my day. So if you want to feel like that, go ahead. You don't have anything to lose. Start using Omega. This Diwali enjoy 25% off all lighting fixtures at Lighting Paradise. Select from the most diverse and unique styles of lighting to upgrade your home or business. We have a large selection of chandeliers, downlighters, our famous Bluetooth fandeliers, outdoor lights and much more. You can get it all in one stop. Also enjoy illuminating discounts all month long during our weekly November promotions. Visit our three locations at Gasparillo, Aruka and Tunapuna. Or check us on Facebook and Instagram at Lightning Paradise TT. When it comes to Pira and Ladu, I just use Chatuk's Ladu and Pira Mitai Mix. It's a combination of traditional ingredients in one pack. I don't spend all that time preparing different ingredients like ma. Three quarter of the work is done. So now I can make fresh, delicious Pira and Ladu in about 15 minutes with the convenience of Chatuk's Ladu and Pira Mitai Mix. Now Ma's Kitchen is a Chata Kitchen. Now available, Gulab Jamun Instant Mitai Mix. Today, I am at Prape Sings. Let's see how many items I can cross off my Diwali and Noratri checklist. Well, I think I checked off everything on my Noratri and Diwali checklist. Mission completed only at Frame Sings Puja Bhavan. Most schools in Jamaica have evacuated students and staff amid bomb threats at these educational institutions. It is the second day of reports of bomb threats and emergency protocols have been activated in the Caribbean country. There is a list of at least eight schools that have so far been evacuated. The bomb threats started on Thursday with emergency personnel being kept busy as they sought to assess whether the threats were real. Police on Thursday said they believe the bomb threat at the schools is a hoax. From returning to news at home now, from as early as 8.30 a.m., students from as far as Blanche shares made their way to the National Racquet Center in Takarigua for the inaugural Caribbean Airlines Career Expo. The Career Expo gave students of Forms 5 and 6 the opportunity to learn about job options in various sectors. Over 30 public and private sector stakeholders in the fields of aviation, tourism, banking and education, to name a few, were on hand to share their expertise with the special visitors. Students were also offered workshops on etiquette, resume writing and financial literacy, among others. Head of Corporate Communications at Caribbean Airlines, John Lagos says, given the fair's success, there are plans to host others throughout the region. We have the network to do it. And so going forward, we will be looking to roll off this. So it will be sort of a caravan. But Trinidad and Tobago is our base. 
So I'm seeing in the future where we may have more than one expo, one in Trinidad and Tobago, and one at another point in the region. Well, over 2,000 students attended the event within the last two days. Well, there's a saying that food can bring people together, and during Diwali, it's no different. CNC3 News paid a visit to a popular food stall at the Diwali Nagar, Trini's Pepper Pot Treats, and learned a lot about the community they have formed. Tonight's Diwali feature brought to you by Lighting Paradise, Felicity Community Pharmacy, Prem Sings, Chattak Food Products, and The Little Store. Diwali, a time of celebration, a time of festivities, and of course, a time for one other thing. Food. While it is no secret that food can bring people together, a community can actually form from within the kitchen. And a busy kitchen like this one is what keeps Trini's Papa Pot treats at the Diwali Nagar going. It was my mom had a roti shop and we used to I used to help any roti shop. I couldn't wait to get home from school to help her. Because to me it made more sense where, where I was seeing the money rather than being in school. So when I think about Diwali, I think for me it's 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 about food. Now, proven by the large crowds, Narano's food is a definite favor by many, especially being known for her hit, Shatai Nuggets. All thanks to the community that works alongside her. Apart from her family and neighbors from the area, Narano has welcomed our Spanish-speaking brothers and sisters and even shares their native tongue. When I was, um, when I was young, I was interested in learning Spanish, so I studied and then after... I learned to speak fluently by practicing with the Venezuelans. They have been working on me for several years. So they know around the Wali time, they know, okay, this is what we do. They already know how to make certain dishes. This young lady here, she knows to make a fry alu. So she helps me with that. And then they, they see when I make my curries and chokers and all that. So they are there looking, they learn, and I show them what the ones who are interested, I show them and they, they learn. And while some of them may not be accustomed to the rich taste of our local East Indian cuisine, some definitely have their favorites. A difference, I remember my Spaniard, different food. I come in here, Trini, I go have custom bread and doubles. Everything for me come in. Me not go story, nothing, brother. And for those who work in the kitchen, it is simply the love of food that brings them all together. The food is amazing and good to me because I'm not accustomed to this kind of food makes us happy food makes people happy and I I take pleasure in making making a product that when somebody somebody eats it they must enjoy it they must remember it and they must feel satisfied that what they paid for it it was worth it it was tasty and I must want to eat it another time. Chan, CNC3 News. Tonight's Diwali feature brought to you by Lighting Paradise, Felicity Community Pharmacy, Prem Sings, Chattak Food Products, and The Little Store. It's time to recap our headlines. Lisa Agard apologizes to customers over a major cyber breach, admitting TSCT's communication could have been better. Hesitant to use ATMs, the Prime Minister is advocating for a cashless society. In sport, this one's for Sunil Narayan. TNT Red Force goes for Super 50 title number 13 against the Leeward Islands Hurricanes tomorrow. Increasingly cloudy and wet conditions forecast as we head into the weekend, watching our northeastern areas for street flash flooding and gusty winds. We've come to the end of the 7 p.m. news on CNC3. Thanks for watching. I'm Ria Rambali. I'm Ryan Beitrim. I am Jassi Marik. And I'm Kalein Hussain. And on behalf of the entire CNC3 news team, Shib Diwali. Thank you.